My name is Aaron Glantz. I'm a reporter for The Bay Citizen. Before coming to The Bay Citizen, I reported extensively in Iraq and covered the stories of veterans uh, after they came home. Uh, I'm author of three books on the war in Iraq, most recently, The War Comes Home, Washington's Battle Against America's Veterans. So you figured out something that you can say to me? I've been covering the war in Iraq for uh, over seven years. I was in Iraq myself as a journalist from 2003 to 2005, and the treatment of our veterans after they come home has been very important to me. And one of the things that's always disturbed me is that the Department of Veterans Affairs does not keep track of our veterans uh, when they die after they've come home. And so uh, because the VA has refused to do this, not only for our Iraq War veterans, but for Vietnam veterans for decades, uh, I decided to go look at coroner's reports that are on file in Sacramento with the California Department of Public Health. We found that between 2005 and 2008, more than 1,000 veterans under 35, these are the people who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan for this country, that over 1,000 of them have died since coming home. This is three times the number of soldiers, airmen, and Marines who died on the battlefield, according to the Pentagon. It just doesn't sound to me like anyone with military experience. Like the idea, the topic of suicide amongst our returning veterans has been uh, of increasing concern uh, in the community and amongst policymakers. Nobody has ever quantified it until this report. The Santos family, uh, the parents of uh, Ruben Santos, who is the main character in our story, I found them because they had purchased a death notice in the San Francisco Chronicle when their son died uh, a year ago. And I called uh, Paula Santos uh, and Ruben Santos on the phone and I explained the project that I was working on. And they, uh, I called them cold and then I went over to their house you know, I would say this, you know, the Santos family lives only about a mile away from my house. Um, I didn't know that there was, even though I have been deep into this issue as a reporter for years, I did not know that there was somebody, you know, just down the street from my house uh, who had died of suicide after coming home from Iraq. That is how silent this is. And that's why they appreciate me talking with them, is because they feel the silence too. And what this story is trying to do is get this out in the open to begin to spotlight some of these cases in the hopes that more families will come forward and not feel ashamed that their son died of suicide. And also to embarrass the government into beginning to count this themselves. You know, the Bay Citizen has spent six months working to uncover and document suicides and other violent death among California veterans under the age of 35. The government should be doing this work. You know, we have a multi-billion dollar Department of Veterans Affairs. It has the second largest uh, personnel of any bureaucracy in the United States of America. If I can do this for the state of California, surely our federal government can honor our veterans by counting their deaths.